Welcome back. Um, what's next? Uh, yeah, examples, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, Adam and Bob, I guess. Adam and Brian, all right, so. We'll do Adam and Brian, okay, so. Adam and Bob, Brian, whatever, okay, so. Your person A and B, okay. Well, Adele and uh, Barbara, okay? But I'm male, so it's easier for me to speak in terms of male's perspective, okay? I don't know anything about women, okay? <laughs> That's why I'm permanently single, okay? But I, I'm not... We'll take a break from all this, okay? I'm not a virgin, all right? I mean, it's kind of awkward to say as a male perspective, Oh, I'm a male virgin! That's kind of very awkward to say, okay? Because virginity is more female concept, right? You guys, who cares? There's no physiological difference between, I mean, before and after the act, first act, okay? There's no anatomical difference, okay, for us guys, okay? So it really doesn't matter whether we had this experience or not so virginity is not a quite apt concept applicable to males because there's no difference okay we're just guys okay so but yeah I, I have some past experience with ladies back in the days okay so yeah but I, I don't know anything about women okay so <laughs> Maybe that's why I lost this election. Maybe I didn't get any female votes, okay? I don't know. I'm just joking around, okay? Hey, it's just too heavy, right? Let's just relax, okay? Let's take a break. Let's run to rest. Sit back and enjoy a little, okay? So, so that we have some longevity, right? We don't want to die young, okay? We want to uh, live long. We want to have longevity. Okay, so yeah, let's just relax. Learn to relax. Mm. I mean, come on, who put vodka in the protein shake bottle? <sighs> Only in human allergy we do this stuff. Okay, because we we are, we are like yeah, whatever. And it's convenient. It's big protein shake bottle. Why not vodka in there? We are not drinking all this tonight. Just little by little, right? But it tastes really good. This blueberry vodka, okay? Oh my goodness. It got a lot of protein in there, okay? It's good. It kind of tastes like milk. Tastes like, it kind of tastes like protein shake, okay? So, because Alaskan blueberry is jam packed full of protein, okay? So, oh boy. I gotta feed this, you know. Uh, it's good, okay. This uh, Alaskan blueberries. It's not sweet. And it got. I can feel this protein in there, and it get rid of all this very poignant taste of vodka. Maybe it's kind of alkali. I don't know, like. It it's neutralizes all this poignant vodka taste and it goes down so smoothly. Alaskan blueberry vodka. It's good. Okay. Stop drinking this. Tea. It's so good. <laughs> mm. 
if they commercialize this, it will be international hit. I can tell you, okay. So there are about five vodka drinks that I really like. Okay, it's uh, Cardinal Catkin vodka, Spruce Tips vodka, and uh, Blueberry vodka, and uh, Red Elder Tree vodka, and uh, this uh, Willow Tree Bark vodka. Okay, I really like. I need one more layer of clothing, okay, so... All right. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the heater, okay? Because right now it's late August in Alaska, so this morning the temperature went down to 50s, right? When the season changes, our body is working extra hard to adapt and adjust to seasonal change of temperatures, right? So that's why there are so many flu, common cold cases when during the transitional seasons, like spring. Autumn, okay? So you have to be very watchful and careful about body temperature control, okay? Yeah. You have to be very sensitive about it, right? Yeah. Then you don't get sick, right? right. You're giving extra effort, copium, energy to your body by putting upon layers, taking off if it's, if it's too hard, okay? You have to do that. Extra diligence during the spring season and autumn season, okay? Then you don't get sick. Look at me, I never get sick, okay? Adam and Bob, Adam and Brian, okay, yeah. So opinion of Adam when it comes to gayism and abortionism, Adam is kind of conservative, okay? So yeah, it's what opinion about gayism of Adam, opinion of Adam about abortionism, okay? It's anti-gayism. Okay, so he's conservative, okay? He doesn't like LGBT ideology, okay? So, and, but it's not that important to him, okay? Let's say this is minus three, okay? About abortion, again, Adam is conservative. He's anti-abortion, okay? But he's very, very, he feel very strongly about abortion issue. So let's say give it a minus nine, okay? How about Bob or Brian or Barbara, okay? This Mr. Bob, Robert, or Mr. Brian, Connor or Brian, or ba Miss Barbara, or... Are there some other female names that start with B? Barbie? Barbie doll? Whatever. Okay, whoever whose name start with B, okay? Distribution, okay? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Connor O'Brien, whatever, okay? Yeah. What does he think about abortion issue, okay? Well, Miss Barbara Streisand, what does she think about abortion, okay? I don't, I 
I don't know. Never met them. I never met them. Okay, they are celebrities. Okay, I'm not a celebrity. Okay, I'm some obscure guy in Alaska. Right, I'm not a celebrity. So. Okay. Yeah, if you're here, most likely you're not a celebrity either, right? It's about small guys and girls, helping out small guys and girls, right? Yeah. So thank you for being here, okay? Yeah, I, I'm sorry about my bad hair day, okay? I am sorry. Okay, so Mr. Brian is kind of liberal, okay? So, oh, he's so pro-gay. That's very important issue, but not too much important, but very important, okay? So, plus eight. Oh, pro LGBT. Mr. Brian is very uh, liberal. Okay. How about abortion? Yeah, pro abortion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he would have called it pro choice. Okay. But he's okay with females having abortion in all different stages. Okay. But it's not very important to him. Okay. We'll give it like a plus five. Okay. okay. Now, uh, we're gonna do some dark product. Okay, so yeah, I told you it's gonna be a long project. Okay, that's why I didn't want to do it. All right, but. Now they have extra time, we'll do so, okay? Yeah, I mean, past two months, I've been running out campaigning. I met a lot of people, I learned from them, taught them some, okay? But mostly I'm ears, okay? I'm listening, okay? But, uh, yeah, you know, no problem, okay? So, past two months, I met a lot of people, okay? And it was great. I learn from them, listen to them. I did enjoy interacting with people uh, because they're amazing. Okay, I, they're not perfect. Okay, but nobody's perfect. Okay, but yeah, mostly I had very good time interacting with people. Okay, I always always came home alone, right? Because I don't fool around. It's not my nature. Well. I just don't fool around, right? Maybe I did once or twice back, way back in the days. But not in this political campaign trail, no. I haven't slept with a lady, like, for how long? I guess about a year, okay? I have not slept with a lady for about a year, okay? So. And I started this campaign trail about two months ago, okay? No, I, I did not slept with a lady in my campaign trail, okay? The last time when I was with a lady in bed, there was like more than a year ago. The last time I went out with a lady on a date, more than a year ago. <laughs> yes. Not that long ago, I, I get it. But yeah, I don't fool around, okay? We're just taking a break of fun with this mathematics, man. Come on. Uh, we'll get through this, okay? We'll do some dark product and information loss, information theory, noisy channel. We, yeah, there's, there's some more to this, okay? It's just, we are dealing with one single equation in humanology, okay? But there's a lot to it. There's information loss, misconception, misinformation, okay? <laughs> it's a lot, okay? So...
I'm 42 years old, okay? And I spent more than half of my 42 years of life in school. I learned electronics, information theory, like Shannon's law and electronics, information theory, computer science, mathematics, physics, mathematics. I learned a lot, okay? So, if you want to be mathematically correct, mathematically precise, okay? So, there's a lot to cover here, all right? Because we want to do this right, okay? We are dealing with one single equation in humanology to present to political scientists, university professors, PhDs, okay? So it's going to be a little bit lengthy paper, okay? Uh, most likely like 30 pages or 50 pages, but less than 100 pages, okay? Because we are just dealing with one equation, okay? And in humanology, we have many, many equations, okay? We are just going to present this one single equation, okay? So, yeah, more to come later, okay? Yeah. We'll take five minutes break, okay? Maybe ten minutes. Because it was raining earlier today. It stopped. Okay. Two days ago, I was strolling down in my backyard and I spotted some animal feces. I have to pick them up. Put in the plastic bag and dispose of it. Because I don't want to step on it, okay? Because it smells bad, okay? So, I'm in Alaska, okay? I have my half acre lot, four bedroom house, three bedroom house, three bedroom house, okay? Half an acre lot, okay? So, I don't mow my lawn, okay? I let them grow because I want oxygen, okay? Yeah, you plants grow, and I know you whether you're edible or not. If you're edible, I harvest you, okay? I never move alone, okay? So I just let them grow, okay? Just come winter, they will fall down, okay? Come spring, they spring up, okay? Yeah, give me oxygen, okay? Yeah, survive and thrive, okay? So I never move alone, okay? I like it natural. That's what's great about Alaska, okay? Freedom. We don't have to mow our lawns, okay? So we take five minutes, okay? I have to pick up that poo. Maybe neighborhood dogs or Alaska moose. I don't know. Yeah. Give me like 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, two latex gloves, right, and one plastic bag, okay? That's all it takes to pick up this pool.
So yeah, my house has warmed up very nicely. I turned the heater in this room, this entertainment room, studio room, and also in the living room. Okay. Yeah, but my pants are kind of wet because I was picking up this poo animal poo feces in my yard that I spotted like two days ago. I don't know what animal that is. Maybe neighborhood dogs. They just love to poo in my yard. Alaskan moose. Like moo. Moo. They love to poo in my yard, okay? They, yeah, whatever. They will welcome guests. Okay, I love animals, alright? Yeah. But I have to clean after them, alright? So. Alaskan moose, like moo. Moo. Right? Neighborhood dogs, okay, yeah, yeah, they will be welcome guests, okay, so. Right, but we have to pay the price, right? I enjoy their sight, their visit, animals. It could be some domestic animals like neighborhood dogs and cats. I clean up to their cats too, okay. They just love to poo in my yard. Or well, Alaska neighborhood residential moves, like, moo, moo. I'm moose. You love to see me? You love me? Coming to your yard, munching on this whatever plants that you don't quite mow? Moo. I'm Alaskan residential moose, neighborhood moose. Yeah, you're welcome, guest, okay? But why did you have to pull in my yard, okay? Put in somebody else's yard, please, okay? Come on. I have to clean after them, right? Yeah. No problem. I pay my price of enjoying their wildlife companies, okay? Yeah. I pay my price, okay? I have to clean after them. So that's what I did like five minutes ago, okay? Put on a latex glove, one plastic bag, that's it. Five minutes, okay, no problem. Okay, let's get back to this, okay? Let's do some dark product. It's very simple, okay? Yeah, dark product, very easy, right? But there's some information loss. This is very important point. We cannot omit this. All right. Uh, so we we have to give it some name, all right? So I mean, in emotion equation, right? Uh, it's a scalar function, okay? Or some issue vector i, okay? It's scalar function. Its output is scalar. Okay. But this is not the same as. So it's not commutative. Okay. Why? Because human perception is faulty, right? This information theory. Okay, you have this long electrical line. Okay, it gets noisy sometimes. Okay. So yeah, inf some information gets lost, like lost in translation, for example, okay? Yeah, this electrical line, this telephone line, under the ground or over the head. Yeah, information gets lost, it gets noisy, okay? So yeah, Shannon's CRM, whatever, yeah, we study all that stuff when we're studying computer science, okay? Yeah. Yeah, human perception is not perfect. We sometimes misunderstand. We get misinformation from media. Yeah, journalists, yeah, they do their best. Okay, but they're also human beings. They make mistakes. Okay. So, yeah, they, they cannot be the same, okay? Because there's some information loss. We have to talk about this in this paper that we are trying to publish, okay? All right, 
let's look at this the other half okay yeah this is defined as uh, human analytical distance that's a big subject okay from b to a right and then opinion vector of uh, b that product with opinion vector of a seen by b but b may be mistaken about a's opinions okay the other half <clears throat> yeah that's like a opinion vector of a well upon this issue vector okay Yeah, gayism and abortionism, okay, so. so A know what A is. A, he's just thinking of Adam, he's thinking about himself, okay, looking at the mirror. Oh, yeah, gayism, abortionism, yeah, I'm conservative, okay. Yeah, so A know what he opines, but when it comes to opinion of B when A is when Adam sees Brian okay on these issues he may be misinformed okay and the distance between um, is from A Adam to Brian that's not the same as distance from Brian to Adam why because Adam may know Brian, but Brian may not know Adam. Why? Maybe Brian is a very social, socially famous person. Maybe Brian is a celebrity. Brian is a very famous person. So Adam knows Brian by reputation. They, they never met. But Adam saw Brian on TV or social media. But Brian does not know anything about Adam. Because Adam is a very obscure person. Brian is a celebrity. One letter away from C, celebrity, okay? Adam is a very obscure person, okay? Just like my myself. Brian, oh, celebrity, okay? So, yeah, everyone, everybody knows Brian, okay? By reputation. But Adam is very obscure person, okay? So Adam does not know. Adam knows Brian, but Brian does not know Adam. So it's asymmetrical. Humanological distance, that's notoriously difficult concept. But we crack it open, okay? We figure it out. Yeah, memory distance. Distance is equal to one over time, memory time, okay? That's the relationship between time and space. Okay? So, it, this is very profound concept. We are just dealing with one equation, okay? In humanology. But it, uh, it uh, encompasses space and time. It's very universal equation, okay? So that's why this paper will take some time to write. We are just doing scratch board, brainstorming. It's been taking us about like two hours by now. More than that, right? It's going to be a big, big project, okay? So. But I have time, I lost the election, okay? Maybe that's why God gave us not election result, but this. He did not give us election win this time, okay? Poss possibly maybe God wanted us to lose this election so that we can do this academia scholarly stuff. 
Maybe that was his plan. No problem. Yeah, God, you are the boss. Okay, yeah, we'll do what you want us to do. Okay, maybe he want us to focus on academia as opposed to politics. Okay. I'm sorry about my bad hair day. Okay, I, yeah, it kind of frightens me too. Okay, it's just <laughs> kind of funky town stuff. Okay, whatever. Let me have some of this Willow Tree Bark Vodka. I, this is one of my favorites, okay? <sighs> Exotic. Very... Very good, okay? It's like very Eastern, Asiatic, Willow Tree Bark Vodka. It's very green and very Asiatic taste. I love my Asian heritage, by the way. Okay, so I'm, I take pride in my Asian heritage. Okay. I, do. I you, you, whatever race you are, okay, you take pride in your racial heritage. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I happen to be an Asian, so I take pride in Asian heritage. Okay, so. Yeah, I, if you are mixed race, you take pride in amalgamation of different races. That's cool too. Okay, I have nothing against you. Some of my best friends are mixed race. We are in America, okay? Yeah, no problem. Huh? Okay. Do you have any idea what we are saying here? Yeah, it's all letters, right? It's so abstract. That's what mathematics is about, okay? So we'll make some concrete examples, okay? We'll get down to earth. All this is like alien-ish, like outer space, this alien foreign language, okay? But it's mathematical language. It's just how it is, okay? But we get down to earth, all right? I told you, yeah, it's gonna be a long paper. Maybe 30 pages, all right? I don't know. But I'd rather keep it under 50 pages. This political science paper, okay? That we are trying to publish, okay? Yeah. How long will it take? A uh, couple of weeks, couple of months, I don't know, okay? Uh, but I intend to submit this paper in this year, year 2020, okay? Yeah, 2020 vision, very prosperous year, okay, yeah. I won, I lost the election, okay? But at least I, let me try to publish this paper in year 2020, 2020 vision, okay? Yeah. I mean, they may decide to publish this in their journals, or not, it doesn't matter, okay? If they decide not to publish it, I just put it online for somewhere else so that everybody can download it for free. Yeah. yeah. Virus free, it's just paper, piece of paper. I think we can make it, okay? This year, 2020, okay? Yeah, we'll take 20 minutes, uh, five minutes break, okay? So. Do you understand anything that's going on here? Okay, yeah. If not, don't worry, okay? We make concrete example, we get down to all this, right? No problem. But I'm a math mathematician, amateur mathematician, secular scholar, okay? I'm trained in mathematics, okay? If you're not, no worries. We make some concrete examples, okay? So all you gotta know is how to add two numbers how to multiply two numbers. Okay. That's the only prerequisite, okay? You don't have to 
know about tensor calculus linear algebra. No. Okay? We break this down to, down for you, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a long journey, but no problem. We have time because I lost the election. Right? I don't have to attend political meetings. Right? I don't have to write to local newspapers. I I don't have to call these radio talk shows, okay? I'm yours, right? Yours truly, okay? We have time to do this humanology, mathematics, because time is ours now. Time is ours now, because I lost the election. My campaign stopped, okay? So, well, I guess th that's what God wanted, right? Seventh possibility, why I lost, okay? Yeah, yeah, God, Mr. God, I guess he wanted us to get back to academics, scholastics, no problem, okay? After all is said and done, we are God's servants, we serve God, okay? We obey. I was sorely disappointed. I didn't just lose the election, okay? I came out last, right? But 85 people who voted for me, I, I'm eternally grateful, okay? So, but, yeah, some other people who voted for somebody else, I, I was disappointed, but I know why, because I'm a human artist. Yeah, he's their friends, okay? Long history, decades of history of friendship. And there comes a guy who's smarter than their friend. So, yeah, for long lasting friendship, okay? All these other candidates. There comes a guy who's smarter than their friend. Who's smarter than their son. Their brother, sister. Yeah. I mean, come on. They're not going to vote for me. They're vote for their friend, their son, their father, their sister, their mother, okay? If you have long-lasting friendship, okay, that's the time factor this D. Distance. Time and space, okay, yeah. We'll do that tomorrow, okay? Because right now, I'm too drunk. All right, to drive. I'm not driving. I'm too drunk to do continue doing this, okay? So we we'll wrap it up for tonight, okay? And do the rest, this defect of time and distance, time and space. Yeah, amplifying vector or contacting vector. We'll do this tomorrow, okay? Because it's a long project, big project. Yeah, we make examples out of this Alaska State Senate election, okay? It's in Wikipedia, okay, election result. Yeah. We'll do, deal with this tomorrow, okay? Alright, thank you. Good night.